G'day folks. I'm just in the process of sorting all these end plates out and I found this little one. That is a catastrophic failure. All of these loops have just burst wide open. And this looks like the mating end plate for it and they seem all fine. Maybe a little bit swollen but not as bad as these ones. It's the only one that doesn't have a crack in it. But it's physically swollen bigger than it should be. I don't think this would have been a condensing coil though because it's got two outlets, an inlet and an outlet for each loop. It might have been a water or air heat exchanger or something but it's just gone catastrophic. Must have made a hell of a bang. Yeah, I don't think it was refrigeration but it was something similar. Bit of a sticker there. Can't tell that it's all been scrubbed off. It says Repco Albat. Whatever it was, it would have made a heck of a bang. Just thought you'd like to see that. Thanks for watching. I guess now that I look at this end plate over here, this one that ruptured could well be refrigeration because you got one inlet along each of these tubes, one loop back through the coil and one liquid out which all accumulate into one liquid splitter which is down there and yeah if that was a refrigeration system my only guess is maybe it was involved in a fire even though these plates aren't burnt maybe the evaporator was involved in a fire and the back pressure just became so great on the outside of the system before anything could burst inside it blew the crap out of your um, condensing coils. The compressor might have been running at the same time as the fire was going on inside. And it's just pumped a massive amount of pressure through it and just gone bang, 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 bang. Pretty cool. <laughs> I've seen a few burnt air conditioners before, but I've never seen anything fail like that. So either way, it suffered a massive pressure spike. The actual end of the tube in there is all bound up from contraction. Thanks for watching.